Hello, Tom here again for EverystepCalculus.com. Um, integration by parts for x squared times e to the 3x. And um, let's do it. These are tricky because e to the 3x is a certain way of integrating that. And you have integration by parts because you got a time sign here, right? And anything with e or cosine or sine or log, natural log, is integration by parts. There is some u substitution, not many. Um, index 8 to get to my main menu. I'm already at integration by parts. I'm going to scroll up here so you can actually see it really clear. Integration by parts, you scroll down to it after you purchase my programs, if you're lucky enough to do that. And um, then we're going to press enter. And we're going to enter the function in here. You press alpha first, alpha x squared times e to the 3 times x. Close off the parentheses. Let's see if we did it right. Uh, looks pretty good. We're going to say it's OK. And there's i for integration is equal to the integration of x squared times e to the 3x dx, of course, with respect to x. u equals x squared, du equals 2x dx, dv, which is a derivative, is equal to e to the 3x, and then the integral, v, is equal to the integral of e to the 3x which equals e to the 3x divided by 3, okay? Plus c, but that's irrelevant. I like to put plus c in there to show the professors that every time you find an indefinite integral, you have a plus c there. 10 million constants that you have to determine after the, um, after the com computation so that you can solve the problem. Um, so anyways, now here's the formula for integration by parts, u of v minus the integral of v du. So we add what we found, x squared times e to the 3x divided by 3 minus the integral of e to the 3x di divided by 3 times 2x, which is du dx, okay? And we integrate, and we bring out the 2 here. You can see this what's happening here minus the after we do the computations from before all right <coughs> and we factor out e to the 3x divided by 27 and so we get 9x squared minus 6x plus 2 times e to the 3x divided by 27 now notice that the answer is is uh, more complicated than the original function. And also remember that this is the, the, if you put an x value in here, this is the area under a curve, okay? But it's not a definite integral because there's no range given. So you could have 10 million plus c's. Here we go, plus c here to figure out this problem, okay? This is the reason the calculus never solves anything of usefulness at all because it deals with functions. You have to have a function here. This is graphable. If you graph this function here, you get a certain graph, probably a parabola or something, or a line going up from x, y, whatever. And then you're finding that the integral is the area under that curve. Okay, simple as that. And that's why calculus is a bunch of baloney in my estimation. Never solved anything useful, never will, never has. All right, so anyways, go to my site, buy my programs, and pass calculus. They're cheating you by making you take calculus. It should only be taken by math majors, not us, ordinary people. You can go to my Facebook page and look at uh, what I have to say about calculus also, okay? So don't doubt me on any of this stuff, okay? This is exactly, I've studied this for 25 years. I know exactly what calculus can do, what it can't, okay? every single character in this thing I had to program, okay? So anyways, good luck with your classes. Have a good one.